Good evening and thanks for joining us everyone. I'm Cherise Gibson. And I'm Katie Moore. We begin tonight in St. Tammany Parish where the woman who fought off an attacker in a Lacombe laundromat is speaking out. She says prior to this attack she had no idea how many convicted sex offenders live in the small town of Lacombe. Eleanor DeBone sat down with the victim as she recounted the moment the attack happened. I just woke up. It was like it's a normal day. In a small rural town in St. Tammany Parish, sitting on a corner lot in Lacombe, is your average coin laundry. The worst feeling ever. Not knowing, you know, how it's going to end, um, what's coming next, you know, when the last hit will be. What happened to Bree Morgan inside this coin laundry on March 3rd is a moment she'll never forget. All I could think about is, like, my kids. I don't want them to grow up without me. According to the St. Tammany Parish Sheriff's Office, Nicholas Tranchant came into the laundromat armed with a knife and tried to sexually assault Bree. He came up to me and he pretended like he was trying to help me put my dollar in. He got right up behind me and it was just, it was just, um, when that's when he made it clear like he was his intentions were to um, assault me. The sheriff's office says Bree fought back. She got a hold of that knife and stabbed Tranchant before fleeing. Bree was stabbed on her side during the incident. She's not ready to go into detail with what happened, but did say. When he was attacking me, he, um, he had set his knife down. And that's when I picked it up and I used it against him. According to the Sheriff's Office, 40-year-old Nicholas Tranchant was a convicted sex offender. The Sheriff's Office says in 2003 he was convicted on a charge of indecent behaviour on a juvenile. In 2008 he was convicted on a charge of attempted aggravated rape and aggravated burglary. According to the state sex offender registry, there's more than 200 offenders living in Lacombe which only has a population of 7,000. Bree is calling for parish officials to reduce the number of offenders living in one area. Whoever has the power to make that change does. Bree, a mother to two, says her kids were the reason she fought so hard for her life. Eleanor Tabone, WWL, Louisiana. Tranchin was taken to the hospital where he later died. Bree says she plans to go to nursing school within the next year. The laundromat where the incident happened has since burned down. WWL Louisiana does not usually identify victims of sexual assault, but Bree Morgan agreed to share her story.